This Plinko feature video will cover many-to-many -many relationships. Many-to-many -many is a common database practice that is not supported by Link to SQL. Plinko fixes this by automatically identifying join tables and generating many-to-many -many association properties for the associated entities. These associations will intelligently manage join rows, automatically adding and deleting as necessary. This demonstration will be using the latest tracker sample application, which can be downloaded from codesmith.googlecode.com. So let's start off by going over how Plinko identifies many-to-many -many relationships. The first thing Plinko does is identify join tables. So here in this database diagram, we can see an example of a join table in the user role table. And Plinko uses the following logic to identify these tables. A join table must have exactly two foreign keys, and all the columns must be either A, a member of the primary key, B, a member of the foreign key, or C, a date timestamp. This adds support for things like create date and edit date, etc. So once that join table has been identified, Plinko then automatically adds association properties to the joining entities. So in this case, user will get a role collection and role will get a user collection. However, it is important to note that the user role entity will still be generated and user will still have an association to the user role, just as role will. This means that we can manage many-to-many -many with the many-to-many -many collections themselves or still manually by updating the join tables. So let's take a look at that. So if we open up our many-to-many -many unit test here, we can see this is a relatively simple unit test. We're going to get back a user and get back a role, and we're going to notice that on that user, there is now a role list entity set. This is the many-to-many -many collection that has been generated for the user role. Now the user role list is still on the user entity, so we can still manually update that join table. However, we're going to be able to do it automatically by simply adding the role to the user's role list, and that is going to manage the join rows for us. So the first thing we're going to do is have the many-to-many -many collection update itself. And then afterwards, in order to clean up for the unit test, we're going to manually pull that newly generated row out of the user role list and delete it. So this is showing that we can either use the many-to-many -to, -many to manage the join row, or we can do it manually by using the one-to-many set. So let's see this in action. Let's go ahead and run this unit test. Now if we step down and collect our data, Let's take a look at what's in the database right now. If we go ahead and refresh that, we can see that the user we should have pulled, at, pulled back is William Adama, and that the role we should have pulled back is Noob. We can also see that William Adama already has a role association to admin. So if we refresh our watch window here, we'll see that user.rollList does indeed come back with one entity, and that is the admin role. But now that we've pulled back our noob role, which we can see here, we go ahead and add that to the role list, submit changes, and if we refresh the database, we can see that a new join row has been created, and William Adama is now associated with the noob role. Also, if we come refresh our collection here, we can see that the many-to-many -many was updated with that row as well. And if we step over this next step, we can see that the one-to-many was updated as well because we just got back our user role where the role ID equaled three. So now if we manually remove that join row, we're going to be removing the association between William Adama and the new role. So if we submit changes again and refresh, we can see that join row is now gone. So hopefully that shows how simple it is to work with many-to-many -many using Plinko. Both the many-to-many -many collection and the one-to-many collections are both exposed off of your entities, and the join rows will be intelligently managed by the many-to-many -many, or can be manually managed by still calling the one-to-many. That concludes this video over many-to-many -many relationships. We hope you found it to be both helpful and informative. To watch additional Plinko feature videos, please visit us at Plinko.com. My name is Tom DuPont. Thank you for using Plinko.